every action begins with an idea. <laughs> Greetings, I, the War Owl, greets you. The first thing you should do when learning how to play Counter-Strike is to work on developing a muscle memory. Now, a lot of people message me and wonder why they can't get out of the silver ranks. They work on the smokes, they know how to throw proper flashes, they watch professionals play, they make an effort to really learn more about the game. But they still get owned by a rushing P90 noob. They haven't worked on the very basics. They haven't taken the time to develop proper muscle memory. Now, I attribute this to modern video games rarely even requiring muscle memory. You could hook a fish up to Call of Duty and he'd win a game. But I wouldn't subject such a magnificent and tasty creature to such torture. Muscle memory isn't brains in your arms. That's stupid. Muscle memory is a term we use to describe our brain's ability to learn movement. Our brains are fluid. They develop and strengthen connections through repetition. Through repetition. Through repetition. Through repetition. I'm always fascinated by the way in which our minds can adapt to any given task. It's almost like with enough time and effort, we as humans can achieve anything. Look at this. Woo! You impressed yet, kids? Try flipping the pen yourself. I'm sure you can, you will just do it very slowly and you have to devote your entire concentration to it. Notice how as I'm speaking to the camera, I'm still able to flip the pen relatively well, focusing on something completely different. This is because I've done it so many times, this is the first take of this by the way, that I don't really have to devote any concentration to it at all. It's completely subconscious. It's subconscious. I could flip the pen in my sleep. We develop muscle memory through repetition. The more you perform an action, the more your brain strengthens that connection. This is why we as humans have to practice things, whether it be sports, video games, playing a musical instrument, typing, jacking off, Wait, scratch that last one. And by repetition, I mean repetition. It can take tens of thousands of repetitions to really master a movement. And depending upon how smart you are, something we call kinesthetic intelligence, it can take less repetitions or many, many more. But don't worry, you will get there eventually. Hard truth of life number one. Some people are naturally better at things than other people. If you aren't one of those people, it means you're gonna have to work harder to achieve the same result. Hard truth over. Because it can take such a long time to develop muscle memory, the best advice I can give for a prospective Counter-Strike player is to be patient. But War Owl, you exclaim, preparing to furiously smack out your half-baked YouTube comment. Video games are for fun. I don't want to have to put in time and effort and learn skills and be patient. I just want to own dem noobs. Then just play the game. You'll naturally get better at the game just by playing it. But without proper training, you'll only reach a ceiling. You'll reach a certain level and that's it. And you can develop some really bad habits. Developing muscle memory works both ways. You can train your brain to do the wrong thing, which is what we know as a bad habit. And it can be considerably more difficult to undo a bad habit once it's learned. My teacher told me this long ago. There is good practice and there is bad practice. And that stuck with me to this day. I know from personal experience that bad practice happens when we get impatient, when we don't have discipline. If you're practicing headshots for hours and hours in a deathmatch and you start to zone out and just subconsciously own noobs, that's when you'll start to develop bad habits. When we get impatient, our brains look for the path of least resistance, and sometimes that can be an easy technique, like wagging the AK-47 around like a feather duster, or buying a P90 and rushing B every round. My advice is to set aside some time to train every day, whether it be Counter-Strike, another game you're learning, or another skill altogether, and focus on a very specific skill that you want to train. I believe that increasing the number of different practice sessions, but having shorter practice sessions, is far more beneficial than long-term massive practice sessions. Also consider that it is sometimes in our sleep that our brains actually process this information and strengthen the connections. You won't see results right away. It may take a few days, weeks, or even a month. The time I generally give someone to develop 
develop great Counter-Strike game is two months because that's how long it took me. Two months of dedicated training and I've had good aim ever since. Have you ever played a game or performed a skill over and over and over and over and over and over and over again to the point where when you shut your eyes, you see it? That's the point you have to get to. So that's what muscle memory is. How do you develop it for Counter-Strike? Stage one will be in a static environment or an environment where we have full control over all of the variables so we can set it up and drill something over and over again. In this case, I thought a good practice would be going for them Juan Digs. Now, we're on a local server, so if you want help on how to set up your own local server to do stuff like and infinite ammo and all that craziness, um, I have a video on that. I made it a while ago. Um, I'll put it as in one of the end screen annotations. So, you know, when you click on the video to go to wherever you want at the end. So, I'll put it in there. If you want to check that out, check it out. So, as our example, we're going to be training. Juan Digs. I thought, what, what a simpler skill than that? Juan Digs are, in my opinion, the best way to train your aim and to get going. So what I like to do, and oh, by the way, um, a lot of people use uh, custom maps. There's a lot of them you can find on the workshop. They're maps designed for this purpose, for training. And they'll have like little targets pop up, and you'll pop the little targets, and, uh, and you'll be able to train your aim. Uh, that way, but we're just going to be using Dust 2. Maybe in the future we can do a video trying out all the different training maps and seeing which is the best one. Video ideas. Got to write that down. Remind me. So let's let's start. We got a blank wall. We have full control over everything that can happen. We're safe. We're in our nice little safe space. Let's put a little target on the wall. That's where we're going to shoot. We're going to practice some one digs. So I start to the side. Just a tiny little correction, right? To aim there and shoot. Now, when you start learning a new skill and you start training new muscle memory you want to start slow and be able to do it make sure that you get it a hundred percent of the time so notice I start on the side I move in and I click and then as you do it like more and more times you can speed it up a little bit right get our Juan Digs down add a little variety to it then we start going from the left side now we're doing this all very fast because I already know how to Juan Dig this is if you, you are just starting out and just starting to get through it. You're going to take a lot of time here on the wall. Start adding a little bit more. Whoa, oh, I can't hit that one. See, I have to start slowly and go in there. And over time, I'll develop that muscle memory. Now, this is not a real environment. I'm not even taking out bots or anything like that. We're just in a completely static environment that we have full uh, control over to do this. After a while, you can start adding some movement into it. Just a little bit more uh, complexity to it. And after you're done with stage one, it'll take a long time, you'll be ready to move on to stage two. Stage two is an environment you do not have control over. In this case, it is a Valve Deathmatch server. This is the uh, stage where most people spend most of their time. Now, I don't think it's necessarily beneficial to spend 90% of your time in this stage, but... Uh, the point of this uh, stage is that you don't really have control over what's going on, over the variables. In this case, the variables are your enemy players running around. I have no idea where they're gonna be, where they're gonna pop out, but I get to practice the skill that we just did the Juan Digs in this environment. Uh, very beneficial, but again, oh, 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 but again, I think people do spend way too much of their time here, and they should spend a little bit more time inside of stage one. I'm not, I mean, this is probably the most beneficial um, without getting into an actual game, but really, you should spend more time in stage one, guys. Come now. Finally, you take your new skills to the actual conditions where you'll be using them. Stage three is playing a real five versus five competitive game. Holy crap. Dude. One check your shot. That was, One check your shot. that was the opera at mid. This footage is my application of our dig practice in a game I played on my live stream. One white box. One white box in mid. One still in A main is gonna come behind you guys. One's back box checkers. 
Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> this is another offer. Uh, two CT. Oh, two CT. Nice. Hey, I'm truck. Let's go back to B. <laughs> okay, I'll admit it. This entire video was just a way for me to show off my deco ace. So that's how you play the game and get real good. Now you have to do it. It tanks repetition. It tanks repetition. Counter-Strike is a very special game. Your character doesn't get better. You get better. A lot of people like to sit around and say, well, games are just for fun. I think certain games are more than just passive forms of entertainment. Everything I taught you guys today in terms of developing muscle memory is something that I learned from playing a musical instrument. It's something that I have learned over hours and hours of practice every single day after school my entire childhood. It's something that I wanted to share with you guys um, and hopefully help you guys improve at Counter-Strike. So thank you folks very much for watching. Uh, thank you guys so much for all the support. I am the War Owl, and I still have no closer. Thank you.